Kiff Ford faction symbols in South Africa. Time to see how the Raptor is built and the Ford Ranger. It's an honor to be here. We're going to take you step by step on how this thing is built from assembly to welding to fitting of the seats, you know, and then doing the test like the quick send rattle. And of course, the final part that will head out to Durban and straight to Nairobi to the CMC showroom. That and much more only on Kazoo Big Boy Trev. Myself and Mirig will take you a tour of this particular facility and show you how this thing is built from start to finish. Stay tuned. So guys, here's a sneak peek at how this facility works. You do have two types of vehicles being assembled here. You have the Everest and the Ford Ranger Raptor. Two variants but you can have the Ranger as the main variant. Now here, we do have an output of about three vehicles per, uh, per day because of demand. And of course, sometimes you can have an output of 20, 30, depending on how many vehicles are demanded in Sub-Sahara, Australia, or in Asia, or whatever it is that these vehicles are being shipped to. Now that is very important because we can tell you that this particular facility has been enhanced to build the T6 platform. Remember the T6 platform, the same platform that is on the Ranger Raptor and of course the Everest. So we're quite excited to give you this sneak peek. But now we need to go to the Ranger and see how it is built. So as you can see guys right here, is where the human machine interface works. Now it allows somebody to count the number of uh, spot welds that are needed to glue up the particular uh, flow well. And of course you can see the front area of the vehicle. Now if it is precise because it has either three or four or five spot welds. If you do less, it will not allow the thing to detach from the metal. It's very, very important. That allows you to have quality. Remember there's a line control manager who checks the quality on the number of spot rivets that are done on this particular, as you can see here. As you can see this guy is doing here, he's, he's actually doing that. He's spotting the welds come through, you can see here. This is a machine, human machine interface. So he's spotting the welds. And once it's done, it releases the grip from the metal and then now you're able to move to the next panel. That's amazing guys, that is quality courtesy of Ford. Let's go on. So right here guys, as you can see, is a group of robots scanning through the chassis of the Ford Ranger Raptor. As you can see, they are reinforcing the underbody to ensure that all the bolts and the nuts are in precise condition. In case one spot weld is missing, it is programmed to ensure that it will go back to that particular unit because it has a laser scanner to confirm that the uh, spot welds are equal in number as programmed as the machine, it will go back and redo it again so you have a good quality product. Now these particular robots are automated, it runs 24 hours a day and there's a group of managers who normally check these robots to ensure that they are done and, and operate in the right way. This is amazing guys, the Ford Ranger are built on an automotive line. Cars of Big Trev, giving you exclusive as always. You've seen the buffer over there. Now you can see now this particular part, the cabs have been refined, the chassis has been hardened, and of course now they're putting the back plate cover. It depends if it's a, it's a single cab or the Raptor, depending on which one it is. Now as you can see here, it's welding the complete cabin and it's taking shape. Now it actually looks like a proper Ranger. How amazing. Now we're gonna go to the body marriage section and Mr. Mirig will tell us much more about how the machines match together to form a complete Ranger. So this is the point in the station after the marriage where they are adding the doors and the hood and the tailgate. This is the last stage before it goes into a final quality check, then into the paint shop. So this right now is the final stage of the body shop. This is just after the final buyout has been done. They're doing it called, it's called picking to paint. This is right now what in the automotive industry is called a body in white. That's before the painting has been done. So based on the sequence number of each individual vehicle, it's going to be picked up in this area and taken to the paint shop. And the paint is going to depend on the sequence number and what the customer ordered. And then like Trevor said, ship down to Durban, up to, South, up to East Africa, and you see it in the showroom in TMC in Nairobi. So what's happening on your left right now is something called the marriage. What's happening in the factory right now is that they're connecting the engine to the chassis. Ford makes the engines from scratch in their facility in Port Elizabeth. They are shipped over here. They are connected to the gearbox. It comes in over an overhead crane, and then it is brought down and married with the chassis. 
at this point, we have the, the chassis of the, of the Ford itself. It goes forward to the next stage where the body lies on the chassis. So when you hear about a car being body on frame, this is the frame, the body is going to be put on top of this. Now we've seen the Ranger now being uh, trimmed, now it's properly done. When it comes to this particular section here, they do wheel alignment. They use state-of-the-art laser technology to ensure that the Ranger came back. Caster adjustment is just perfect. Now when you're driving the Ranger on Thicker Road or Mombasa Road, you feel right at home because you feel stable and it is quite, quite comfortable. Now, after that, we now move to the next segment. Now, where it's done on the dynamic rolling chassis, where they check all the components, if the vehicle can reach the top speed and if it needs adjustment, it is done, therefore, accordingly. So that is very important on this process. Now, after this particular segment, we go to the water test where they check the seals, the effectiveness of the seals. So they're going to put it on a shower. So water is placed on the car. It simulates a rainy condition. So there'll be a lot of water going into the car. And then after that, the inspectors will now come out and check if there's any water getting into the engine compartment, the cabin, and of course, the different places within the car. So that is very important. So we're going to see that and then now head out to the Rats and Creeks, which is basically the last section just to confirm that the vehicle is fantastic for Nairobi. So guys, you've just seen how these vehicles have been tested in the, in the rumble strips and now we can confirm that this particular car has passed the quality control check and ready to be shipped all the way to Durban onto a ship all the way to Mombasa, Kenya, on a carrier all the way to CMC Motors in Nairobi on the showroom. And you're gonna see the 2019 Ford Ranger Wild Track ready for you. Either the Ranger or the Wild Track, they all built on the same line, but it's been an honor and a good experience at the Ford Silverton plant where we're able to see how these cars are built from scratch. Quality is very key and very important. And as a big boy trap, we'd like to thank Ford Motor Corporation South Africa for giving us this opportunity to see how these cars are built from start to finish. Yeah.